Hi, I'm Mark Dixon. Welcome to your first episode of Tuesday Tech Tips. Each week I'll be highlighting a different digital tool that you can use with your learners. This week we're going to be using Mentimeter. Mentimeter is a brilliant live polling and voting solution that'll let you engage and interact with your learners in real time. And it's free. So let's jump in. Okay, to kick off, you go to mentimeter.com and from here, you can then click the Get Started button, fill in your details and set up a free account. From there, you can log in. This takes you to the homepage where you can see any presentations you've already created. So we're gonna create a new presentation. So click the button and we're gonna name it Health and Safety. So now Mentimeter gives you options for different kinds of questions that you can ask. Start with a multiple choice question. So in here, you need to type in your question. So we're gonna type in, what's the most common cause of accidents in the construction industry? So then here you've got answer options and I want to have four answers. So we're gonna click the add option button there as well. So the first answer could be electrocution. Option two could be hit by falling objects. Option three could be slip trips and falls. And finally, option four, inhaling toxic fumes. Now, that puts in your questions in here. You can also decide how you want to display your answers here. But one thing that we do need to do is to select which is the right answer from this list. So if we click the select correct answers, show correct answers, and then slips, trips, and falls is the most common. And now we've got the question finished. Now we're gonna create another slide, and this time we're gonna create a word cloud. So again, we need a question, a prompt. And the question is gonna be, what words and phrases do you associate with health and safety? Now here, it says how many entries per voter, so you can change that if you wanted to. And you can also allow the audience to submit more than once. There's also a profanity filter if you need it, if you think you need it, so you can click the English and that'll stop people from swearing, at least in English. You might want some other in there as well. So what we're gonna do now is look at the learner view. Uh, so I'm gonna jump onto my phone and you're gonna get the learners to go to menti.com and then they need to, to submit this code here, which is 122704 and submit. And if we click the present button here, and we'll go back one, go to slide. So we, you can actually change the slide live on the learner's phone or tablet. So the first question, what was the most common cause of accidents in the construction industry? Well, I know it's slip, trips and falls, so I'm gonna submit that one. I was right. And then if we go to the next slide on the presentation, and this time I want some words that are associated with health and safety. So I'm gonna put in here risk, injury, and falling. And submit, and you'll be able to see the results live that those words come straight into the presentation. So I've allowed for multiple um, inputs. So this time I'm gonna put risk in again, twice. And then finally I'm gonna put in slip. If I submit that now, you can see that risk is growing because more people are, are submitting that as an answer. So this word cloud can show you what are the common answers for those kinds of questions. So that's how you create those question slides. You could use Menti within your PowerPoint presentations. You could uh, use a hyperlink to, to, to menti.com and with the code, and then the learner could then access your PowerPoint and still submit their answers. And it would also be great live if you're just conducting a webinar and you've got multiple students together, you could then send them all to that Menti and get them to enter the code and then see their answers live and have a discussion around some of those answers. Let me know what you think and if there are any tools that you're using that you think could be shared on a Tuesday Tech Tips, then get in touch and let me know. Until next week, take care.